Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this, sharing a simple classic makeup look. If you are looking for something that's easy and doesn't take 20 different steps to accomplish, but gives you a simple, elegant, and classy look, this video is especially for you. I love this look because it immediately gives me the old Hollywood starlet vibes. I love Audrey Hepburn. She is my favorite. This makeup look is definitely inspired by her and some of my favorite movies that she's played in. This is the look. You have a simple outfit, simple earrings like these from Francesca's, and you are all set to go. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We already have our skincare base on. Have I told you how important that is? I'm pretty sure I have. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, here's a video that will fill you in. I'm gonna use the Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. This primer is incredibly hydrating. It's not like your typical primer where it kind of feels maybe silicone-y or detached from the skin. That's why I really like it. It also tingles when you put it on because you can really feel it minimizing those pores and giving you a really pretty base. If I'm doing a glam look, I definitely will always use a primer. I don't care to use a primer at any other time because I just don't feel like it's necessary. Now now we're going to apply the Say E Star Glow. This is such a beautiful product. I've talked about it in other videos before, but it acts as a base. I'm only gonna use about that much. If you have oily skin, focus it on the areas that you're not too oily. If you're just oily all over, then I don't recommend using this product because it gives you a lot more of a dewy look. And if you have oily skin, you're naturally dewy and beautiful. If you have combination skin like me, I like to apply it on just my cheek areas for that extra highlight. If you have dry skin, put it all over. Lather yourself. No, don't lather yourself. That That's not a good tip. Now we're going to start on these brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is just what I always do. It works. I don't feel like changing it. I'm going to take the spoolie and brush my brows up. If you were watching my last video, I told you guys I was losing brow hair. Still trying to figure that out. Thank you guys for the tips in the comments because someone said something or a couple people said something about applying brow gel can sometimes cause like eyebrow hairs to fall out. And I thought that was interesting because I started using a lot more brow gel than I usually do. Like as soon as I get up in the morning, a part of my skincare, I started pushing my brows up with brow gel, which I've never done in my years of wearing makeup. I felt like I wanted a little bit extra oomph with my brows because they struggle. Around the same time, now that I really think about it, I started losing brow hair. My hypothesis is that the overuse of the brow gel was causing my brow hairs to kind of fall out. If they start growing back and everything's fine, I will definitely be convinced. If it's still the same, then I'll think it's pregnancy because that's another new thing that's happened in my life. Let's go ahead and take this Anastasia Brow Wiz and just lightly fill in the brows. This eyebrow pencil is in the color Ash Brown. I feel like it is the best color for me because my hairs are kind of light and I liked being able to have control over the darkness of them to make them more natural. It takes a lot more skill to make it look natural when the pencil is darker. Okay, that looks good. Bye bye. This is something I almost always forget to do. It almost slipped my mind right now, but I'm not gonna forget. Eye primer. Typically, it's good to apply your primers all together so that you remember. Eye primer is really good, especially for glamorous looks. This particular base primer that I'm using is from Sigma and it's in the color Ignite. I highly recommend going for a lighter color on top of the eye if you're doing any kind of glam look because then it makes the pigment of the shadow that you're using a lot more intense. Also helps it last a lot longer. The eye makeup looks so much more dramatic when you use that and having it as a cream base really helps the makeup to really stick. For foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Van Wu 2. This is one of my favorite foundations for glam looks. I apply just two dollops on my hand and we're going to take my other finger and kind of pop this all the way around for a more natural and blended out look. I'm gonna take the Sephora 64 blending brush and I'm gonna go in and kind of blend that all together. This is a really nice foundation if you have combination skin like me because it gives you really good coverage, but it also is not too mattifying. It has a little bit of radiance, but not too, too much. Now it's time for concealer. I pulled this out of the depths of despair in one of my makeup bags. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Concealer in the color 3.3. I was obsessed with this concealer for a while. Definitely for a glam look, because it is a thick consistency. Let's do my normal lines. I love how it applies. I do remember it lasting a long time. I'm also going to take this flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to take the residual from my nose because I put quite a lot 
there. I'm gonna go ahead and outline my brows. This is essential to do. Now we're gonna blend all of this out. I'm gonna use the Sigma F79 brush. This is their concealer blend kabuki brush. I'm obsessed with this brush lately because of how beautifully it blends everything out and how effortlessly it does so. A couple passes and it's blended out. This baby's kicking me. I'm so happy I get to feel it now. I'm starting to feel the kicks progressively get stronger each and every day and it's really a beautiful and fascinating thing. Kicking me right now probably because I had some Olipop. I ditched my Diet Dr. Pepper craving, guys. It's not the healthiest thing for you, so I wasn't too happy that I was craving it so much, but um, I ditched that and now I'm on to like probiotic classic grape sparkling tonic. It gives me my fizzy stuff. I, I still like fizzy things. Probably why the baby's kicking so much because it's like, what are you giving me? For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes because I love the highlighter and I love the bronzer. I get away from it sometimes, but I always come back because it's such a beautiful palette. I'm gonna use this brush from Sigma. It's actually a setting powder brush, but I really like how it applies bronzer. I'm gonna use their bronzer here and we're gonna go in very lightly. Have a really light hand when you do this. I find that that really helps, but this brush is really amazing for this application because it gives you a really light finish, as you can see. I'm gonna apply the bronzer where I usually would apply it to help define my natural contour lines. Powder bronzer for a glam look is superior, bringing warmth into that face. Look at that. Oh, I love the warmth. I can't wait for the summer tan. Now we're gonna do a small contour on the nose. I'm gonna use the MAC 224 blending brush, that same bronzer, and we're just going to contour the nose just ever so slightly. Now we're gonna take the Sephora 64 blending brush and just kind of blend that all together. I like to do dabbing motions when I blend in the bronzer with this brush because it kind of already has residual foundation on it. I'm now gonna use a blush and I'm gonna use the Merit blush in the color Beverly Hills. I feel like if you're going to do a cream base on a glam makeup look, the blush is where you're gonna be able to do that. This is a really beautiful color. I'm going to go in with my Sigma Contour Blush Brush and we're going to just lightly blend that in. Again, packing motions so that it really just kind of set, sets in there. I love the shimmer that this gives. It kind of gives me a little extra highlight too. Let's start with the eyes. I'm really excited about this. We're gonna use the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Palette in the color Velvet Rose. This is just such a good staple palette to have. This color that they have here for the browns are just so versatile and so beautiful. I don't know what happened. We probably dropped the palette and it came out, but that's okay because we have all these other colors that are so pretty. I'm gonna use this lightish, darkish brown. No matter what palette you're using, no matter what eyeshadow it is, make sure you get a really good brown color for this. I'm gonna use that MAC 224 blending brush and I'm gonna take that color and we're gonna blend it into the creases. I love that base, the Sigma eyeshadow base because it kind of already gives you a really nice eyeshadow look. Gives a really nice color and a beautiful define for your creases. With my hand, I'm just gonna take this color here in the palette. It looks like a, like a tan cream. It's almost very similar to already what I used as the base. And I'm just gonna pack this on top to give it more of a finished look. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the MAC 165S brush here, and we're gonna take that same brown color that we put in the crease, and we're gonna go down below to balance out the eye look. This gives the appearance of a larger eye and anything to make our eyes more vivacious. It's a really nice blend. I just love these colors, they're so pretty. Now we have our eyeshadow base. We're gonna work on mascara lashes and liner. I'm gonna go in with some mascara because I love doing mascara before I put on lashes. It helps you have a really good baseline. Curl my lashes first. I'm gonna use the Benefit Bad Gal Mascara for this because I really love how extreme they make my lashes. I'm gonna go down below really carefully. Don't go too heavy on the mascara, at, at least at this point, because you're gonna put on lashes and you don't want to too much. So I just do a really light base. Um, just to kind of get the lashes up there so I have a good baseline. Also make sure that you allow the mascara to dry before you apply the lashes because that can leave things very sticky. Now I'm gonna go in with the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I've already pre-cut them. I've explained this in other videos. I'll link a video so that you can see like more in depth of how I do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Duo Lash Glue. Put a really thin amount of glue on those lashes and then I go ahead and apply it on top. Wait, that's the wrong way. Sorry. This way. 
I'm just gonna play around with them a bit. Sometimes it's also easier to just move it with your finger to help them to get into the right place. Some of these dry a little bit. Eyelashes on, yes, we're moving along. Now let's do eyeliner. I have an in-depth video of how to easily do your winged liner that I would highly recommend to watch if you are a beginner. Check out this video, I will link it so you guys can see that. I'm gonna start off just drawing a small line here. It's extremely difficult to talk while I do this, but you can watch, connect it here. No, I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. We'll fix that, don't worry. Nothing like a pretty wing liner. I'm gonna try to fix this one over here. Let's take that flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics. It was the one that I use underneath my brows to help define it. Let's just pop that in place. There we go. We're set. I love it. We did not too bad considering that we kind of messed up that eye a little bit. I'm going to take the residual of that brush that I used, the 224 MAC brush, and go underneath the eye again. And then I'm going to add another layer of mascara on the bottom lashes to, again, balance out the look. And then, very, very lightly, I'm just going to take that mascara wand and touch up the tips of my fake lashes where they go to kind of make them a little bit more natural looking and kind of blend your natural lashes with the falsies. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with lipstick. Make sure your lips are hydrated. Right now I have Vaseline on them. I put just a tiny bit because I don't want it to be too glossy. I like a matte lipstick when it comes to this classic look. Some people like a really glossy red lip and if you are one of those people, then go for it. But for me, I like to keep things matte. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the color the MVP one. This is a really beautiful color for my skin tone and I love it how matte it is. I mean, look at that. I find that if you use the pointiest tip of this brush to use it as like the lip liner, it really works. I should just get a lip liner. I'm sure she has a lip liner. I just don't have it with me. I'm being lazy. Take your time and then you fill it in. Last but not least, a setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever setting spray. I know I just applied spray, but I totally forgot to do this, especially for, for glam makeup looks. This is so essential. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder, and I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes with that concealer brush that I used from Sigma earlier. Keeps everything nice and together. And there you have it. A simple, classic makeup look. I kid you not, every single time I wear this look out in public, I always get so many compliments on it because it's so simplistic, yet it looks like I spent several hours putting this together. I think it can compliment absolutely anybody that wears this look and it can compliment any kind of outfit. I love especially that you can take such a simple and basic outfit and make it more glamorous looking just by this adding this makeup look. I'm really happy that I got to do this and I got to share it with you. This makeup will stay on my face all day long. I've tried and tested this whole makeup look out several times. This Fenty Beauty lipstick is the newest makeup product that I've added to this look because I love the color so much. It does transfer, so I have to keep it with me, which is not the best thing and I don't really like that, but this color is impeccable. Take that as you will, but I, I let you know about it. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know what you thought in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you so, so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.